What's up, Print Fam? I know you're not expecting me at the beginning of a video. No one ever does. Um, but I'd just like to bring up a little comment. Someone asked Darren um, why we cover up Bach with like a PNG image. Um, and Darren's reaction was, or he commented back and he said, Cam misheard me one time when I was explaining what was going on, and ever since then it's just been a running joke. Mm -mm -mm. I have every video I've ever edited on my computer for you, Darren. What happened was, you pointed to the back, and you meant to say background, but you said Bach round. So I put Bach back there as a joke. It just happened to be over the embroidery machine, hence Bach. From then on out, embroidery machine is Bach. Anyway, so I hope that answers your question, random YouTube commenter. Didn't look up your name i'm sorry anyway back to the regularly regularly scheduled video happy friday print fam it's a little after 9 30. i am driving over to the high school to drop off this order and as soon as that is dropped off i've got to stop by the post office go drop off these heat transfers pick up some shirts from another customer that wants me to put some transfers on them and then get back to the office and do some more work. I may also stop by one other customers on the way to just pay them a visit and see if there's anything I can help them with. So we'll see how that turns out. I do have quite a few things that showed up in my email last night slash yesterday afternoon. Um, someone needing about 15,000 stickers, some business cards, some punch cards, some holiday greeting cards some more transfers so lots to keep me busy today and unfortunately gotta go to the day job at one so lots to do not enough time to do it all so i'm gonna get this stuff going and i'll check in with you shortly all right print fam headed to the part-time job i just finished a lunch meeting because technically with my brother, uh, but he's gonna order some down-filled jackets with their logo on it. So it should be a pretty decent order. They've got about 25 employees, so they're gonna order those. And I was gonna pay for lunch and my brother insisted that he pay, so that was nice. Had a good time with him hanging out and getting an order. I tried to convince him to spend even more money, but he wasn't going for it. One thing that I did help them decide on though, was they were thinking about doing just shirts or the jackets. And the recommendation I gave to him was to decide if he wants it to be more of just a thing or more of a present. And it is gonna be for Christmas. And he decided he wanted it to be more of a present. So I recommended they do the downfill jackets. Like cost wise, they would have been able to do about four shirts for every downfill jacket. Um, and he decided to do the downfill jackets. Sorry, phone call. Uh, anyway, it's more of a premium thing. So keep that in mind, help your customers decide what their goal is and then help them find the right product to meet that goal. You'll get a lot more orders and people will like you a lot more rather than just being what I like to call an order taker. So, okay, I didn't get anything else I needed to done today. I've been literally gone all day. I told my kids I wouldn't work tonight. So we'll see how that goes. I'll probably work maybe an hour when I get back from the job. So I'll check in then. All right, print fam, I am back in the office. It's a little after nine o'clock, but the entire family's asleep, so I can get a bit of work done. The only thing that I like, absolutely have to get done right now is a business card order that I got right before I was headed home from the day job. They requested that they have it done by next Friday, but it is a spot UV on both sides, so I definitely can't do that on my own. I've got to outsource it and it's a four day production with them. So I have to get that ordered tonight. Other than that, I'll just check to make sure things are looking good on the schedule and probably call an early night. So I'm gonna get that ordered. I'll probably order another set of business cards at the same time. Again, these ones are outsourced because they're a sandwich card. So it has a 16 point, a colored layer, and then another 16 point. So it makes it a super thick card. 
um, premium premium product. Um, I definitely am not going to run that in house, and has good profit margin, so it's always nice. So I'm gonna get those ordered and I will check in shortly. All right, print fam, 11 o'clock. I have a customer that orders a lot from me and I wanted to treat them a little extra nice today. They didn't plan and they have a show tomorrow morning and they need a few things. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to show you step-by-step -step what I do right now because I don't have it connected to the network to get a job going and one of those jobs is going to be some business cards you guys have been asking so i'm going to show you how it's done so the printer goes to sleep so i push those nice little button and wake the thing up it takes a couple of minutes from a dead sleep to wake all the way up as you can see here please wait starting system we got the fiery up here just simply wiggle the mouse got Windows updates that I don't want to update plus it's not connected and we can see the whole list of jobs there and because I'm not on the network I'm gonna take my thumb drive and take it into the other room to put the files on it that I need so I have the business card in PDF because that's what the firing wants I have it set as three and a half by her excuse me 3.75 by 2.25 and what this allows me to do is print excuse me print the file and have enough room to cut the edges so that it's full bleed so I take my file and I drag and drop it on here and then I also am printing just some eight and a half by eleven full bleed so I'm gonna grab that it is also in PDF also with the same bleed so that's done so now grab my thumb drive again I got this for free from a trade show 64 gig it's sweet. Plug it in to the Konica. It pops up here. And all I do is, where's my folder? To print. I take them and drag them, drop. Oh, I gotta switch folders on the fire. I drag and drop them into the hold queue, which I know you guys can't see it, but that's what happens. Put it in the hold queue. And from there, the business cards, I have a template set up. So let me see if I can show you that. So I need to print this one right here. And so I go down to impose. And it's going to load up the imposer here and I already have a template so all I do is I come over here and I select that it's my business card template 24 up BC so then it's gonna lay out the file it's not loading it which is why I got these question marks and I can just hit close and yes that I want to save it so now it's got my imposed one right here at the top. So I can double click it and I can say how many copies I want, what the media is, which let's unlock. Unlock you bloody thing. Open. All right, I gotta figure out what's going on. I'm pretty sure the paper I need is in here. 
Brock said that there's magic buttons. Right here. Bingo. So this is my glossy paper. What's in my other one? No, this is my crappy mat. This is the one that I want. So, this is not my new paper, but this is the old stuff. This is what I used for their job before. So it is in number four. But you look at number four, it's 12 by 18 coated mat. See, I should have just looked here in the first place. And it's, I think it's a really a 270 GSM. So, I come up here and I can leave the paper select to auto. I select the paper type to matte, color white. Double check, make sure all the settings are right. It's single sided. So it should be good. And I should, if they have print, it'll print one page. This is almost done warming up. So now it's ready. Maybe not. It's thinking about it. Ready? Now we go over here. We're doing long sheets. Double check, make sure it looks good, which it does. So then we come back over here and I open up my calculator because I'm an idiot. And for some reason, my template cuts off the bottom row in the Duplo, but I'm pretty sure I need 23 pages. 24 pages, 23 additional pages. So, all I do is I go to my print queue, double click, this job, change it to 23, click print. It's gonna fire up here again. And, just start coming out here. So in the meantime, what we can do is we can get... Cam doesn't let me talk during this part, so I gotta stop. Okay, so now that it's cut, we'll make sure the barcode is at the top. Okay. Feed it in the Duplo, which is difficult one-handed. And we'll turn the Duplo on over here. And it's going to turn on, and we just need to make sure that the barcode reader is on. So right now it's on job number five, which is five by seven, four up on a 12 by 18. So as soon as we push go, then it is going to scan the barcode and switch it to job number I don't even know what number it is. It's programmed in the Duplo. So it'll automatically switch to the right job. And the only other thing we need to do is put the business card catcher on the tray over here. Doing my stuff. Take this. So now, it's all, I haven't adjusted it. This is just for my business cards. So as soon as we push go, and I'm not gonna talk because Cam doesn't like it. I'd like to point out that it's not just because I don't like it, right? I'm not just being like a, a dumb head here. This is really hard to hear you talk, Darren. This just it's so much easier to listen to you talk if there's not like a brr in the background. You know what I'm saying? 
You know what I'm saying. But I'm just gonna show you one. But we'll push go here and it will auto switch the job and cut the job. All right, print fam, it is slightly after midnight. We got the prints all done. So four of the prints and then the 500 business cards. I'm gonna go drop them off to their shop even though they're closed because she has an event first thing in the morning. So she wants to be able to have them. So not something that I probably should do money wise cause I'm gonna lose money if I take into account the time and the effort, but it, just helps solidify my business with them. I do appreciate them and the help that they give me and I am billing her for the artwork that I put together. So that will be nice. So I'm gonna call it a night since I'm just gonna go drop those off and then go to bed. So thank you as always for watching. Hopefully you liked watching the process of the business cards. Um, I put them in business card boxes and I have a bunch of different sizes. I should probably show you little mobile vlog today I keep them in this ghetto cabinet that I got from my brother because he's a woodworker and they had extra stuff so um, these are little cheapy ones that hold 250 you unfold them and put two of them together and then I've got some more premium rigid different sizes I think there's a few five inch seven and a half inch 10 inch boxes. Everything else is just my paper collection. Oh, and more boxes. So, got some Kelly paper in there. And then up here, more paper. So, anyway, that's what I do with the business cards once they're printed. But thank you as always for watching. If you'd like to support the channel or you have questions, leave it down in the comments. Share the channel with your friends. Go use the Amazon affiliate links. Your price stays the same, especially this time of year, Christmas, holiday season, whatever holiday you celebrate. I'm sure you're buying stuff. I would love if you could go through that affiliate link. It would really help the channel out. And I appreciate the support. Thank you, Cam, for being the most awesome, stupendous, reliable video editor. You are the man. I hope I didn't over-exaggerate, but I really do appreciate you, Cam. In case anyone doesn't know, Cam is, he is the awesome video editor. And I appreciate all his hard work. Even today, um, there was no video for tomorrow. Like, there was one vlogged, but it wasn't edited because we're kind of behind because I didn't work Friday and Saturday of last week. And so I didn't have videos. Lo and behold, I get on and Cam's like, hey, what's that secret? What's that secret you and Bob talked about? And so I told Cam the answer, and I was like, oh, if he knows what the secret is, then he edited the videos. Sure enough, they were uploaded. So I got it ready to go. So tomorrow you guys have a wonderful, well, I guess it's in the past, but tomorrow for me, you have a wonderful video. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stick along. Yeah, that's right, stick along. See you later, Prof. Bam.